Hello everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to load Excel data to MySQL Workbench. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself to master SQL, put data analytics and land your dream job, or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's SQL certification course. Simply Learn offers an industry recognized SQL training and certification program for aspiring SQL developers and data analysts. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like real world problem solving, data analytics, MySQL Workbench, and much more. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to gain an engaging learning experience featuring demo sessions and real world examples. You will gain dedicated live sessions by faculty of industry experts from top tier product companies along with the academicians from top universities. After completing this course, many of our learners have either transitioned into a data analyst or a SQL developer as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below. Without further delay, let's get started. So how to load spreadsheet data or Excel data to SQL. Let's quickly get back to MySQL Workbench. So here, let's say you wanted to create a table and load the data. So if the data is minimalistic, maybe the data about 10 rows or 15 rows, you can manually create a table and insert the elements into your table using such insert commands. But this is like mine which is in the Excel spreadsheet and has about 10,000 rows, would you like to, you know, write 10,000 insert commands? No, right? It would be really time consuming. So for situations like this, MySQL Workbench has enabled developers to load the data from spreadsheets within a few steps. But before we get started, let's check our column headers. So here you can see uh, it is not compatible with the MySQL Workbench or SQL commands, right? So it has a space and it has a word row and it is a keyword in MySQL, right? So we don't want that confusion. So for that reason, we will try to modify this maybe using an underscore, right? Similarly, for the row ID, you can eliminate space and use an underscore. And when it comes to order ID, the same. So just let us quickly change all the column headers so that they are SQL compatible. There you go. So we have replaced all the row headers with underscores and made them SQL compatible. So let us save it. And when you're saving it, just make sure that your Excel file data is also having the, uh, you know, SQL compatible uh, name. So here we have load csv to mysql so here we have the name with space right so let's try to change that to lowercase excel data and there right now it is sql compatible now quickly let's go back to mysql workbench here we have it now you can just create a new table just right click here or you can also do it from here create a new database and the new schema will be the name of your data set so let's type it as excel data or just excel and uh, apply now this is the schema apply now you have uh, excel right here just drop down and here you can see the tables right click the tables and here you have the option of uh, import data visit right just click on that now browse your folders and have it so yeah another notification for you guys so you need to save your excel spreadsheet in the form of comma separated file right let's quickly go back and do that open your spreadsheet go to file save as comma separated file save there you go now let's get back to workbench and now i think you will be able to find it just open next drop table if exists Make sure you do that to be on the safer side and check all the names here. So we have a problem with row ID, but that is something which you can fix down the line. And before you go to the next step, check all the other names as well. Every other name on the column header is fine. Just the first one, we can just alter the table, not a big deal. And uh, next, 
it should start importing. There you go. The data file got imported. Of course, it took a little while because it's 10,000 rows. That's normal. Now, let's quickly go to the next step. And here you can see 9,987 records imported successfully. Just click on finish. And I think it should be shortly done. Let's close the schema. Go to the query table. And yeah. So, you can quickly refresh so that you will have the Excel data over here. Now, let's use the database that is Excel. Run it. Now, we are in Excel database. Now, the table we are looking for is select star from uh, the data name. The data table name is Excel data without a space. Semicolon. Just quickly run it and I think we should be shortly able to see all the data sets right over here. Yeah, about the first column ID, we can simply use the alt table um, function or query to change the name. Let's quickly do that with the table name, alt table, rename, okay, what was this? Can you copy that, copy field name, rename row ID to, so uh, a small sy a syntax error there so here in, um, i think they should be sorted yeah and now let's quickly run this and i guess it should be done now let's quickly run the select command again there you go so we have the row id order id uh, order date ship date shipping mode customer id customer name etc and everything is as per the expectations and that's how you can load excel data to mysql workbench and that brings us to the end of this session on how to load Excel data to MySQL Workbench. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources like PPT and the data set that we used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.